Hi guys, this is your Mobility Intercess, Dave Dio, and I'm back here in Kenya once again. As you can see behind me, I'm at Rome. There is a new service that they have introduced. Last year, I was able to meet them. I went to their manufacturing plant to see the electric motorcycle that they are producing at their facility. And they have introduced a new service called the Room Hub. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go straight to the attendant over here to talk to her about this new service that they have introduced. So let's go. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. So my name is Dave Dill from Driverfy. Pridakini, the Rome Hub Supervisor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So guys, like I said, last year I was in Kenya and then I was able to interview Room about the electric motorcycle that they are producing. I am back in Kenya once again and they have introduced a new service called the Room Hub. So I'm here with the operator over here. She's going to tell us more about it. But before we even continue, remember to like this content. I mean, if you're a new subscriber, subscribe so that we can grow this channel together and also develop e-mobility in Africa. So now tell me more about this Room Hub. Yeah, at Room Hub, we provide two services. Mm. We rent the battery and we charge the battery. Yes. You rent the battery and then you charge the battery. Yes. This reminds me of new, the Chinese electric vehicle brand I reviewed that offers battery as a service in Norway. Unlike many battery electric vehicles charged with a plug-in cable, the new drive through station can swap out a battery in under 3 minutes with a full process including car alignment and safety checks, taking less than 5 minutes. Electric mobility. Okay, good. So, if anybody is buying this electric motorcycle, does it come with batteries? Yeah, it does. So it depends which plan do you want, the, t the, the two battery plan or the one battery plan. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you can get it by our partners. Uh, for now, it's Mcopa selling it. Yes. Okay, so now these motorcycles come with a battery. So they are able to charge their batteries at home, right? Yes. yes At yes, what yes. point do they bring their batteries here? What will make them bring their batteries to Room Hub? Okay, for the people who have the one plan of battery, yeah. they might need a second battery because of the mileage that yeah. they'll cover mm. within the course of the day. Yeah. But for people who have the two batteries, when one has depleted, they mm -hmm. just bring the one that is depleted mm. here, mm. which I did for free, then yeah. they continue with the one remaining. Mm. Yeah, and come maybe after three hours, the battery will be full. Okay, yes. so how long can a, full, a fully charged battery travel? What is the range? Yeah, the range is up to 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers? Yes, for one okay. single battery. And at what point do they bring them here when it is at maybe 10% or maybe uh, 10 kilometers left? At what point do they bring the batteries over here? Yeah, most of them uh, bring the battery when it's below 10%. Below 10%? That yes, is when. Most. And how long does the process take to, to do the change or the swap? Okay. So if you want to charge the battery alone without yeah. renting, yeah. it's uh, like two minutes process. But if you want to charge at the same time rent another one, yeah. it's five minutes because we have to take some information about the rider. About the rider? Yeah, so that when you come next time, we don't give the wrong person your battery. Mm. Yes, we give you the same battery that you left here for charging. Mm. Yes. Well, I believe that is innovative. So what has been the feedback so far from these riders who have been patronizing this room hub service? Yeah, most of the riders, are, they are on the side that it saves a lot. Mm. Also, for now that we are providing the charging for free, yeah. most riders prefer bringing the battery here because they'll save electricity back at home. Oh, you are currently providing the charging free. for free? Yes, for free. Wow. Only I for think renting. you guys are doing a very good job, so continue. <laughs> yes, only for renting we charge oh, okay. just a small cost. Mm. But your battery, we charge it for free. So when it comes to cost, yeah, it saves a lot. It saves a yes, lot. Yes. Wow. So I guess you are going to demonstrate how this works, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome. The room hub charging stations are strategically located at the heart of busy urban areas. This particular hub is at Total Energy's Lusaka Road, and the others are on the Waiyaki Way and Ngon Road, all in Nairobi for now. As you can see, one of the room air motorcycles right in. Stay tuned and follow Drive a Fire on all platforms. 
He parks and converses with the room hub attendant. Here, the attendant finds out whether he wants to rent or charge a battery or even both. Now, he wants to charge one of his batteries and at the same time rent a fully charged battery from room hub. He takes out one of the batteries from the holders and puts it in the tray. The attendant undertakes some verifications of the rider, including noting the temperature and percentage of the battery. The motorcycle rider then pays the rental fee through m which is a mobile money payment solution. Music. The attendant then picks up the battery and plugs it into one of the fast chargers. And rent out the fully charged battery belonging to room. The rider then inserts the battery back into the holder. Anything electric related to mobile vehicles, mobility and, and off he goes. One country at a time. Per room's policy, rented batteries are supposed to be retained within 24 hours. Automotive innovation. So guys, what do you make of this innovation? You think it's something which is sustainable? You think it's something that all electric mobility um, companies need to emulate? Let me know. Don't forget to like and then share with friends. I mean, help grow this channel so that we'll be able to develop electric mobility in Africa. Thank you very much. So I think I am going to hop on one of these motorcycles yeah. and I get our experience of an electric okay. motorcycle. Yes. All right, thank you very much, Lizzie. Thank you as well. Just before I hopped on the motorcycle, I saw this lady working on this desk. I walked to her to find out what was keeping her busy. Apparently, that is not an ordinary desk but a quality bench. Her job is to perform an inbound quality check for all components coming from suppliers. She checks that all the components meet the standard acceptance criteria. Once that is done and everything seems okay, she then gives the green light for production. I couldn't wait any longer to have a feel of this electric motorcycle, but I thought to myself it would be much better to get to know what really goes into the production before I go on a test ride. I proceeded to the production line where I spoke to the line manager who took me through all the seven stages of production. At station one, the mud guard is fixed on the chassis of the bike, which is always the first to be fixed, followed by the electric motor. The electric motor provides power to the wheels of the bike, 